Hi everyone, it's A here and welcome back to The Looming Siblings. In this video, I'm going to show you a racer tutorial, a, tuto a bracelet that I call the, the Barb Wire Bracelet. So, this is the bracelet that I'm going to do today. So, if you're wondering, that's an original design that is made by us. So, the things you'll need are one loom, then your loom should be should look like this in this configuration like a letter V. Then you also be needing your hook, your any type of hook, but I'm going to use a metal tipped hook today. And also, don't forget your C clip or any clips that you want to clasp your bracelet together. Then also rubber bands. Today I'll be using glitter white for the border, then orange and orange and red for the two main colors for the wire that's inside the razor. So get your supplies ready and let's get started for step number one. So first by taking your border rubber band from the left bag going to the center peg. Then, from the center peg going to the right peg here. So you want to do a border for the bracelet. If you know this step, then please skip the step, skip this part of the video to the two main colors we'll be placing later for the wire that's inside the bracelet. So I'll pause here and I'll meet you to the end. Okay, when you're here, you want to go from the left peg to the center peg. Then again, you want to repeat this step, what you did to the left side of the loop. So you want to repeat this step to the right side also. So I'll pause here and I'll meet you to the end. Then from the right peg, going to the center peg. Then push the down. So your loom shoe looks like this now. Then you want to go back to your loom from the start. Then you're ready to place your wire that's inside the bracelet. So, Again, I'll be using red and orange for this. So I'll be using first orange. So for this, you wanna go from this peg here, going down, then going to the center. Then from the center peg, going to the top, then to the bottom. And you wanna push down again by taking your red rubber bands or any rubber bands you would like to use. So, again, from the from the top left corner right here, then you want to go down, then to the center, then from the center, going to the top right corner to the bottom right corner, then push those down. And then, if you're having trouble, just follow me and you'll get there. Then again, from the left top corner or the top left corner, going to the center. Then from that center peg, going to the top right corner, then to the bottom right corner. So we have made three. Then moving. So by taking again your red rubber bands, I'm doing this in alternate, alternative colors. So from the left peg here, going down to the top, to the bottom left corner, and going to the center, then push that down. Then from that center peg, going to the top right corner, then to the bottom right corner there. I'll do this two more times with you. So from 
from the left, top corner going to the bottom, left corner, then to the center. Then from that center, from the center peg going to the top left, top right corner going to the bottom right corner. So that should be it and you want to repeat these steps going all the way to the top of your loop. If you're having trouble, just go back and you'll just get that pattern that you want to do. It's just like a bow tie. Always start from the left, then to the right, then the left, then to the right. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what to do next. So you should have something like this on the end of your loom there and from the start of your loom. So now we're going to place our middle bands now. So by taking again your border color rubber bands, then from the center peg going forward, then from that middle peg going forward, then you wanna go forward, then forward, then so forth, so on. So, I'll just do this with you guys since it's, it's pretty much easy, but nothing exciting much. But yes, enough talking, and we're now in the end of your loop. So, your loom just looks like this. Then, you're ready to place our cap band at the end. So what I want to do here, just turn my loom around like that. Then, in this peg here, you want to do a figure 8 or infinity sign. Just stretch that band, twist, then put it back upon itself. So you see, through like two rings there. So that's clear for you guys. And now you're ready to hook the bands going forward. So go through the cap band, reach for that first band that you come to, it's always through the middle. Then now you're going to hook those bands that are going in the center. Those are the border bands that will keep them up close, so just want to hook them up straight and I'll pause the video here and they'll meet you to the end. And you should have something like this now. Then you're ready to hook your wire that's inside the bracelet. So, what you want to do, go from the center peg right here. Reaching the first rubber band that you come to, it's always the left. Then the right, then the left, then the right, then the left, then the right. So, from the, from the middle peg, grabbing the left corner rubber band, it's always the left. Then going back again, it's the left again. It's the right, sorry. Mixing it up. Then go to the middle peg and grabbing the first band, it's always the left. The left one, the left band is always the first rubber band that's on top of the right. So the right is the last band. Then again, on the center peg, going under that through the band and grabbing the left rubber band then the right rubber band whoops then from the center again to the left then to the right from the center to the left to the right and I'll do this last time left to the center and to the right so you're going to finish that until the top of your loop and you want to repeat those steps so I'll be right back and I'll pause the video here guys then you should have something like this now then you're ready to hook the border rubber bands these are the border rubber bands that are the glitter white. So through the cap band, always grabbing the first rubber band that you come to. It's always the left for me. 
then the next is the right. Then go through the cap, go through this band right here. Then only by grabbing this border band here. So go through, then hook it, hook that to the um, hook that to the forward band here. Then go through the bands and hook that forward. Then again, just hook the border rubber bands that is in the bottom bands. Go through the rubber bands, that over. Just go through, because that will keep them secure and um, it will just get closer. So. So let me just pause the video here and I'll meet you through the end. And when you're done hooking your loom should looks like this now. So we're now going to place that one single rubber band on those middle bands there. So by taking a single rubber band, then you wanna like I'll just focus it here. So like you want to get your hook, then going through that middle thread there and going through those bands, then if you see my last, if you see my other videos, it's always like this. This is how I do it, it's more easier than some of them, like some of those like people are doing, but I see some do. So you want to put that on your hook, then you want to pull that through all those bands then you want to put it back upon itself like that so so you should have something like this then you're now ready to remove the bracelet of the loop so let me just remove it and please hold this band right here on your hook this so you do you don't want to like remove that from the hook it will like dismantle your bag and you can now remove that slowly if you will so so just set it aside now So this is your bracelet right here. So let me just focus that for you. That is a pretty pretty bracelet. So what you wanna do if you see my other videos, I'm going to do this manually. So by grabbing your rubber band, then this is all and this is already one here. So I wanna do this five four more because I want to do five extensions on each side. So that's two, three, four, then five. And then what I want, what I want to do here just stretch the end and then put my two fingers like that then you can now remove your hook from it then by grabbing your C clip you wanna let me focus that you wanna grab your C clip and you wanna attach it like so like why is it so hard man so there that and you want to do this in the end as well so in this cap band right here you want to go through that then you want to add five more so this is one two oops again this is two Then this is three, 
I'm gonna add two more. This is four. And this is the fifth one. And the last. So, I have something like that. That's a five inch deck extension. So, what you want to do, just repeat that. Put your two fingers. Then, by grabbing the end of the C clip on the other side, like that. Then, you want to just like clip that on. So, you have something like that. So, this is now your bracelet. So, I'll present to you the barbed wire bracelet. So, this is the finished touch. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe just right down below. If you have any suggestions that you would like us to do a, a tutorial or a charm perhaps, um, just comment down below and we'll, and we'll try to make that happen. So once again, this is A here and bye!